Writing essays at university can be daunting if you haven't done it before. In an academic essay, it is important that you use a structure which will help you to set your ideas out clearly and logically, and enable your reader to follow the points you are making. Once you understand how an effective structure works, writing essays will be an easier process. Here are Study Smarter's top three tips for how to structure university essays. Firstly, understand the form. Secondly, apply the form. Thirdly, keep your eyes on the prize and revise, revise, revise. Let's start with understanding the form. The first question students often ask is how do I get started? It is a good idea to use mind maps or brainstorms to plan and organise your ideas. This will help you to work out your approach to the question and decide what points you want to make. Once you have a few ideas, you can start to apply a basic structure. Most of you will be familiar with the elements of an essay. You begin with the introduction, move on to the body paragraphs and finish with the conclusion. These elements go together into what we call a TDR, or Topic Development Review Structure. This is the basic template for a well-structured essay. But what does each element consist of, and how do you put them together? It helps to think of each element, or paragraph, of the essay as a funnel. By this, we mean you should start off with a broad focus, and become more specific. This will help the reader to follow your argument, and understand each point you are making. With an effective structure, all the elements of your essay should flow together. Think of each element as a funnel leading into the next section, and you can visualise the whole essay as an interconnected series of parts. The introduction starts out with the broadest focus of all, and then becomes more specific. Each body paragraph then follows this pattern. But notice how the conclusion is an inverted funnel? This is because conclusions should be the opposite of introductions. They should start out with a specific focus, and then move back out to a more general context. Once you have the basic structure, you can start to get into more detail about each element of your essay. Our next top tip is to apply the form. The first thing you should do when you start to write your essay is make sure you are addressing the question you have been given. You can use your introduction to outline the topic and the position you are taking in relation to that topic. Your introduction should be clear, direct and respond to the essay question. You should start by introducing the general topic and giving some background or context information. Then you can become more specific by outlining exactly what it is your essay will discuss and summarising the main points you will be making. This is where you will need a strong thesis statement. A thesis statement is possibly the most important factor in your essay. But what is it exactly? A thesis statement is a single sentence which addresses the topic of the essay, but limits its scope by clearly outlining your position on that topic. It is used to indicate to the reader what it is your essay will do, and it should be written in a brief, direct and unambiguous manner. This is an example of a thesis statement. Notice how it relates to the question, but also specifically outlines the argument that the writer is making in relation to the topic. Here is an activity you can try yourself. Remember, you can pause the screencast if you want to take some time to do it. Choose one of these essay questions and write a practice thesis statement. Don't forget to read the question carefully and use your thesis statement to outline your position on the topic. Once you have written your thesis statement, you should check whether it outlines your position. For example, that reusable shopping bags should be mandatory, that it is one sentence long, that it is clear and direct and doesn't include any irrelevant information. Now you have introduced the topic and established your position, you can move on to the body of the essay. Each of your body paragraphs should address only one main point, which you should introduce with a topic sentence. Then, you need to support this point by referring to relevant support material. Some people might react with an EEP at this point, 
But it doesn't need to be scary, as we will show you in a minute. Finish your paragraph with a summarising sentence, and try to link your body paragraphs together so that the progression of your essay is smooth and logical. EEP might be your natural response when you consider what support material you need to strengthen your points, but it won't be difficult if you can remember to include some of these four things. Firstly, explanations, to show how the point relates to your main argument. Secondly, specific and credible examples to illustrate your point. Thirdly, relevant critical evidence to support your point. And finally, evaluation, to show how you have thought critically about it. You can include these in any order, and you don't always need to include all of them at once. Have a look at this example to see how explanations, examples, evidence and evaluation can be integrated into your body paragraphs. Your essay should finish with a concluding paragraph which restates your thesis, summarises the main points you have made, and relates these back to a more general context. Don't introduce any new information in your conclusion. It should only be used for summarising and restating things you have already discussed. Once you have written your essay following the TDR structure, you can move on to the final step. Our final top tip is to keep your eyes on the prize and revise, revise, revise. This will ensure that your essay is polished and your structure is effective. Before you begin revising, you should take a break so that you can look at your essay with fresh eyes. Then, read your essay again and imagine you are the marker. What have you done well? What could be improved? Make sure you are honest with yourself. Other good ways of revising include reading your essay aloud to hear how it flows, or doing a reverse outline, which is simply an ordered list of all your points to check that you have all the necessary elements. And finally, always make sure that you have properly answered the assignment question, as this is one of the first things a marker will look for. We hope you've enjoyed this Study Smarter screencast. Remember, you can improve the structure of your essays by Understanding the form, applying the form, keeping your eyes on the prize and always revising. <laughs>